least just ask me to do a quick whip around, I'll just jibber, so that's what I do best. This is our setup at Arno Bay. Standard little caravan park actually, it's really cute. It's a jet ranger over there, they're flying the power lines, so that's pretty cool if you like, like that sort of thing, which I do. So I'm just going to have a walk around town, show you what's here. It's only little, but it's, uh, it's got everything you need. It's a cute, been a great little stop for us. Bay. Got a beaut pub, great for dinners. There's the beach, caravan accommodation. And there's a coffee shop that also does fish and chips. So this is the Arno Super Shed. So there's heaps of information along all the walls about what this used to be used for. So I'll, I'll just read that sign there. It was built in 1912 and they used to bag their grain and super. I'm thinking that's super phosphate. I don't know. So back in the day when this was a working jetty and the catches had come drop all their supplies off for the local townspeople and they of course would bring all their products wheat, super, sheep might be making this up and it off it goes so it obviously had railway tracks on it because here's one of the trolley carts and that's the crane that used to use to <whistles> offload it it's got a lot of history of the local area in here this place has been here for absolutely ever sorry about the light Clouds have come over, park's right there, straight out the back of the park, straight on the beach. A lot of heritage in this area and the other thing that we notice here is they are really super proud of their little town. A um, bunch of old beach shacks up there, there's a marina, put your boat in, you can fish here, there's mangroves down the end. Cute place, surf break up the road by about 10 minutes, really neat. So I'm at the end of the Arno Jetty now, so it used to be a couple hundred meters longer I believe but gradually because they don't need to bring the big ships in anymore to take the weed out, bring goods in and that's what that big shed was initially for all the goods that came off the boats will go into that store for the local townspeople but it's like a little sleepy village now but got a really nice vibe worthwhile stopping for a couple of days in summer it gets pretty hectic I would imagine it's probably a bit chilly and it is South Australia so nom 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 cue the cello music but we've had a great little stay here we move tomorrow our plans are go to Port Port Augusta that is where we will clean the mud off the cars resupply make sure we got enough gas in brackets propane for our American audience because we're heading north into Wilpena Pound which is part of the Flinders Ranges explore there gradually trot north on the Unadatta track into the territory I don't know how high up we're gonna go we might even make it up to Darwin which would be wonderful I haven't been there for many years it's a great town really good feel great night markets there at Mindel it's just, it's just nice. We love Darwin. But this is the ocean. There's some farms out there where they uh, keep tuna and mulloway, I believe. We had a really nice little stay here. We're just enjoying the ocean. Go back, get squared away for lunch. Go and make our order for dinner and away we go. Here we are at what is the last bit of ocean we are going to see till I guess we get to Broome. It's quite unusual for us. So is it June? About three months till we see the salt water again. If you like what we're doing on YouTube, please go and have a look. Consider subscribing. 
hit that notification button so when Leanne pops another movie up, you'll get notification of it and you'll see where we are and what we're doing.